Welcome back mga kabrigada. Ngayong umaga, abay kakaiba ang ating pag-uusapan dahil pag-uusapan natin ang patungkol sa isang solar energy at ngayong umaga nga, makakasama natin ang first to invest sa kanyang isang sa isang skwela dito sa Jensen. He was he is the first to invest in a solar energy project. Syempre, walang iba kundi ang NDDU on Notre Dame the Youngest University School President, Brother Paterno S. Corpus FMS, kasama si Sir Ralph Glett, ang, mani ang the Business Development Manager ng Energy Store, country representative, it and it is a German company. Good morning, brother. Good morning, Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, so, um, simulan po natin itong usapan nito. Pag sinabi pong solar energy project, talagang ngayon, very big po yung impact niya sa mga tao. Talagang, Wow, it's a big thing. So, can you tell us more about it, Po? What is it all about? Uh, well, this project actually is uh, uh, harnessing the uh, power coming from uh, solar. And you know the situation of the world today. Uh, there is global warming due to uh, excess uh, carbon uh, emissions. So, as an educational institution, we need to do something concretely. And uh, as an educational institution, I think the students also will be able to learn from the practice right in campus. Do you have anything to add, sir? Yes, I, I, I think it's um, um, Brother um, Pat has the right um, intention and the vision to, because I think it's very important to, to give the next generation the awareness of the situation right now because the future is theirs if we destroy the few their the environment today yeah we have to protect the environment for their future yes and therefore it's very important to start now yeah especially in the country which is hit extremely by weather phenomena like typhoons which are in direct um, um, yeah, in um, combination of, of uh, or the, the direct result of um, the global warming, global warming, yes, like typhoons getting stronger and stronger, that's because of the ocean is heating up, and this is because of global warming. So we have to address it, especially here. And so the, the, the intention of Brother Pat to bring the awareness right to the students, yeah, to the, to the technical students, that they see uh, what they can do, maybe some of them even study in this direction, yeah, developing new new ideas, developing new new te technologies, and it could be here in the Philippines, produced here in the Philippines. And that's a very good intention. That uh, so the, he he does exactly the right thing. Bring it right to the to the next generation. Yeah. So and. Then brother, that that kind of yung institution yung po yung kauna una ang school po to invest sa solar energy po. Well, uh, as far as I, I know, but I, I am not aware of others oh, doing that. Ito, brother, the question is, why did you take the risk, Po? Well, uh, I take the risk because, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, I think it is uh, our response to the challenge of Pope Francis mm -hmm. on his uh, latest uh, encyclical, Laudato Si. And this is all about uh, caring for the earth. Mm -mm. So we can just kind of just simply talk about it. I think we have to do something very mm -mm. concrete, exactly. Because we benefit from it as well as the Earth benefits from it. During the launching, in fact, I said, "Well, this is the victory of the Earth. Exactly. This is the victory of the young people because the young people are the ones who will be affected if we destroy the Earth." May I add something to the to the point? Risk, of course, each investment is a risk. Yeah. Yes. But in this case, if you have solar panels, yeah, this is a um, um, an in installment which is not moving. It has no moving parts. Yeah, it's there. It stays there, and it produces power um, as long as the sun shines. That means um, the panels start working in the morning when not. It's not even when the uh, only when the sun shines. Even when there are clouds, yeah, it's producing power. A little bit reduced but actually it means it starts in the morning when light comes up and ends in the evening if you want or not it's producing power so that means uh, producing power when there is consumption in the school the power goes directly uh, to the consumption it will be consumed in the school if not we export it to the grid and um, 
And uh, so that means over a long period, we made a uh, financial assessment on, on a long term period, it's even a good investment. Because if the panels are am amortized, you have power for free. Mm -hmm. And this is basically, uh, and as the, the minimum lifespan of the panels are 20 to 30 years, um, it's a pretty good investment even. That's, uh, yeah, so just to add that, because that's a very important factor for people who don't who know solar but don't know exactly how it works mm. so and uh, therefore that's an important uh, um, information adding to that so next question ko po brother ngayon po na hindi pa tayo nakapag-start sa ating solar energy project and if we start soon ano po ba yung mararamdamang pagbabago ng mga estudyante well i cannot uh, answer for them but i expect that their interest will be heightened and their awareness uh, on that will turn into something that, you know, they become uh, committed to really use uh, renewable energy. And I guess that's, that will be the impact that we will be uh, having for our students. So that's how I look at it. So now, po, um, a lot of students are watching a lot of our people here in Jensen. So, um, being interested in this solar energy project, what part or what role could we do in order to become full, uh, a full participant to this project or to show our support in this project? Po? Well, uh, I guess the acceptance of this project, not only necessarily in concept, but really to be able to understand better the uh, the operation of uh, a solar project because if we simply they, uh, they are just simply uh, people who watch and then uh, the, the the project has no impact on their lives well uh, it's simply a financial investment that's all but as an educational institution i think we invest on the knowledge of the students as well as the transfer of this knowledge to their own lives. As per, uh, as per to Sir Raf, what can you tell to our Cabrigadas or to the people of Jensen as to why they should use solar energy instead? Um, like I said before, um, solar is um, a long-term investment because of course, um, like Brother Pat said, at the beginning you have an, uh, you take a risk because you loan money mm. and then you invest in something and but it pays off Slowly but surely, so you have um, you you hit two flies with one slap. Yeah, um, you make an investment which pays itself because when you consume the power, it's like putting money from one pocket in the other, right? You don't pay to the local uh, power distributor; you pay to the bank, which gives mm -hmm. the loan. But and that only for a certain period of time until it's paid, mm -hmm. and then you produce power for yourself. You, you don't pay for the power because the sun sends you no know, electricity yeah. bill, right? But it sends power every day. Yeah. And um, that's basically uh, one focus. And the other focus is, um, of course, at the moment, as there is a big lack of, of, um, of electricity, yeah, and um, the other, even fossil um, um, power is there, but it's needed at the moment. But slowly over the period of time, um, this could be changed, yeah, and this should be changed because we cannot rely only on fossil fuels forever. And um, when you think about that, the sun is sending power to the earth every year, which covers the whole consumption of human mankind on the whole earth for a couple of thousand times. And um, this is a free source of energy, and that's. Uh, that's the thing what we should always do. And also, I think uh, we have to participate in the a campaign of mm -hmm. the government. When they, the government has uh, come out with the Republic Act on uh, Renewable Energy mm -hmm. in 2008. Eight. Eight. Nine, and uh, the target is really, I hope we can achieve that. 90% of our uh, energy, electrical uh, energy uh, uh, need by 2030 we will be able to get uh, that from solar mm. so the question is is it worth risking for yeah it, it is worth risking 
if you don't uh, take a risk in this life, actually you start dying. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yes, naman. So, brother, can you encourage other institutions, uh, especially educational institution, to invest in this same project for it will be for the benefit of each and every student and residents here in Jensen? Well, uh, I cannot uh, really uh, command them to do this, but on my own uh, thinking is that I hope that uh, our practice our experience will be able to encourage others to do the same because if we work with young people we should be able to produce uh, uh, people who are concerned of the community concerned of the environment it's very important mm -hmm. for us as educational institutions so i would rec i would ask probably other institutions uh, similar to ours to be not only in terms of uh, uh, investing this because of uh, financial uh, advantages but really to be able to give uh, of value to our young people so that they will be in the forefront in facing challenges as, as a global warming and how about you sir Ralph? um encourage our viewers to use solar energy instead yes uh, definitely because um, if you think about uh, um, the, the local consumption of um, power through air condition, you're cooling down your house, you know, and um, of course, the solar only produces power in daytime, but if you just think about um, a hotel which runs aircon 24-7 or a hospital which runs aircon 24-7 or like a normal local business, you yeah, know, if, if it's an office building, people coming in the morning, then the aircons uh, will be turned on, so the power consumption shoots up during the daytime, and they go home when it's getting dark, right? So that uh, that their consumption curve is actually totally conform with our production curve, yes, or almost conform, and that means we can cover a lot of their power consumption with our our production. Yes. So it makes absolutely sense, and if they invest in that after a couple of years and and businesses should, uh, or they, they think long term. Yeah. So in, if they invest now, and uh, and uh, um, the investment is paid back or, or amortized in uh, seven or eight years, or if they finance after the loan period of, for example, ten years, um, they produce power for free. And uh, this is something where um, where businesses surely uh, happy about here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's that. Therefore, of course, we encourage business to invest also and of course also because of the environment yes. so you really do um, you can uh, like I said uh, slap two flies with one slap yeah. well, basically yeah. like to encourage sino po mga gusto nating pasalamatan po sa pag invest natin at sa pag take natin ng risk uh, well I would like to thank the board uh, for allowing me to to go into this project because without the board uh, approving this this will not uh, really happen and also uh, I I would like to thank also the people behind in encouraging me giving me more information about uh, the use of solar energy and uh, what are the advantages uh, the group of Ralph and uh, Tony Madoromente came to my office actually one day and talk about this and I'm really very interested uh, in this because uh, I want to be able to do something concretely mm. and uh, in, along with the students to be able to do something for the health of the earth because uh, we need to do something immediately before it's too late carbon emission all over the world is really quite high and as Ralph mentioned that we already feel the uh, the effects of this in terms of the stronger typhoons change in weather uh, patterns so before it's too late before it becomes irreversible we have to do something concrete to be able to reduce the carbon emission that is that are uh, evaporated and destroying the ozone layer. 
Ayan. Yes. Kaya naman mga kabrigada, let's do our part bilang mga mamayan ng ating bansa. Abay, let's be aware and let's do concrete actions para matulungan, mapanatiling ma malis malusog at malinis ang ating kapaligiran. Hindi lamang ito basta-basta issue ng pagtitipid, abay issue rin to ng ating responsibilidad bilang mga anak ng Diyos na pangalagaan kung ano man ang ginawa at pinahiram niya sa atin. Maraming maraming salamat po, so Brother much, Paz Thank and Sir Rob, sa pagbagi ninyo ng inyong kaalaman patungkol sa Solar Energy Project. At sa pagbabalik ng Morning Hataw, more balita, more segments, kaya huwag maglilipat. Dito lang tayo sa ating number one morning show, ang Morning Hataw! Morning Hataw!